In the Kenya Open, we begin with uh, in sports news rather, we begin with the Kenya Open where Sebastian Soderberg finished round three of the Barclays Kenya Open at the top with a four under par score in the third day of the tournament. German, uh, German Sebastian Heisel and Frenchman Joel Stotter both tied at ten under par. 206. Kenya's Dismas Indiza finished the day tied on 15. Robinson of Kenya was at the current golf course and filed the following report. The Kenya Open Golf Challenge entered day three on Saturday and it was a scramble to take charge of the two as competition intensified and in the process dropping some of the top stars from day two. Kenya's fan favorite Dismas Indiza began the day on a positive note, hitting two consecutive eagles in the first two holes and at some point heading the leaderboard. Yes, Four pars, a double boogie and a boogie in the first nine have a peg the Mumia's best golfer back. Eight pars and a boogie in the second nine saw Indiza's chances of keeping hold of the top spot wobble as he finished tied on the 15th place at one under par 71. Kenya's Njoroge brand dropped five places to tie 38 on the third day, cutting nine pars in the first nine. Six pars, two buddies and a boogie in the second nine, so Njoroge card one under par 71. Ngige Brand finished tied on 57th position at 1 par 73. Swedish golfer Sebastian Soderberg took charge of the tournament after finishing second on day 2 at 4 under par 68. German CSL Sebastian drove his way to second, moving up 20 places. France Stalter Joel tied up on the second place after cutting 8 under par 64. As the hours slowly tick towards the final day of the Kenya Open Challenge Tour, and the gap in quality deepens, it's now down to who can keep their metal and drive towards the top prize. Robinson Okenye, KTN Sports. Kenyan athletes posted good results at the preliminary stages of the World Indoor Championships at Day 2 in Portland. Boniface Morese qualified for the 400 meters race finals after finishing third in his heat while defending 3,000 meters champion Caleb Ndiku, Augustin Choge and Viola Lagat also went through in their respective races. They're off in the first semi-final from the inside. Clemens, Brenes, Janicek, Moresa, Lendor and Taplin. And Taplin's gone out hard. Moresa and a very impressive run by the Grenadian. Ryan Taplin, who's going to come and win this by a big margin. Can Lendor hold on for second? Yes is the answer. Moresa gets third. Clemens gets fourth. Then Stand up. Start and still on going on. Now they're being asked to step forward. So, the first of two heats in the 3,000 metres, you need to get your lap counter out because uh, it's not seven and a half, it's 15 laps of the track. Quickest in the world, he's in fourth place, Robinson fifth, Levines is sixth. And now the two East Africans really begin to pour it on. He can afford to ease up, this is so, so impressive. Especially when you remind yourself that he's still just 18 years of age. Kajelcha takes it, Chogi second. She's here courtesy of a wild card after winning the tour. She was third in Stockholm and Glasgow. So, two Ethiopians in this one. It's seven laps of the track, of course. So, in by eight. They take the bell then, and this is the first heat of the women's 1500 meters. Dazayum. She's looking over her shoulder. She's left the red, the rest behind here. Great qualification from Sam. Mbaye comes through for third. Martinez will also... Now plans for Sunday's inaugural Nandi County Half Marathon are underway. The event will kick off at 9 a.m. from Kamobo to Cup C1 Primary School in Nandi Hills. And it has attracted over 1,000 participants where the winner will take a half a million prize money. It is London Marathon champion Eliud Kipchoge, who hails from Nandi County, is the race ambassador and is expected to inspire the young generation of athletes who hail from Nandi. The race is also expected to boost Nandi as a training destination for both local and international athletes. Referred to as the source of champions, Nandi County athletes are expected to reap huge benefits from the half marathon. The main event is the 21 kilometers, 
besides the 21 kilometers, we are going to have a farmer's race as a category. We are going to have a, an event for people living with disabilities. We are going to have also a school race. We are targeting basically the schools surrounding Samia, I mean the Nanditi area, uh, the primary and secondary. We are going to have also the corporate race. But the main event is the 21 kilometer race. It starts from Kamobo all the way to this venue where we are. The other events are starting from Nandi Hills Town and uh, ending here. Group and Nandi T has seen it fit to sponsor the inaugural Nandi County 21 kilometer half marathon. The Nandi T estates who have sponsored the Nandi Marathon hope to raise funds and put up a stadium in Nandi Hills at a cost of 20 million Kenya shillings. Known for its high quality tea, Nandi County hopes more athletes can go back to training in the county. Lynn Washira, KTN. Premier League uh, champions Gor Mahia last evening signed a 50 million shillings three-year shared sponsorship deal with Crown Beverages, boosting its ability to attract and retain top talent. The deal with Crown, the local distributor for Sub Miller drinks, is the second for Gor Mahia in less than a month, with the Premier League champions having signed a near-similar deal with betting company Sports Pesce two weeks ago. Gor Mahia has been without a shot sponsor since March 2013, when an 18.5 million shillings shillings a year deal with Brookside Dairies ended. The Gormahia shirt will now bear the Sports Pacer logo at the, at the front and the Crown Lager logo on the sleeves. Crown Lager is one of the major brands distributed by the company. Our partnership will focus on promoting the game of football through joint efforts to eradicate hooliganism and antisocial behavior before, during, and after football matches. We shall work together with all stakeholders to root out hooliganism from Kenyan football. I am happy today to note that our new partner, Crown Beverages Limited, are committed to joining us to put an end to hooliganism. And it's never a dull moment in the English Premier League. Let's now have a look at how Arsenal fared against Everton and also what happened when Chelsea met West Ham. Alexis Sanchez, Ozil. Alexis Sanchez, well back, must score, does score. Arsenal lead at Goodison. When Arsenal purr, they are still beautiful to behold. And that was an Arsenal goal of the type one likes to recall. Sanchez has it now, and now Bering can look up and see Iwobi. Trying to get away from Funes Mori. It's Alex Iwobi! It's 2-0 Arsenal! First got his goal on full Premier League debut for 19-year-old Alex Iwobi. Of course, uh, Chelsea West Ham ended with a draw 2-2. Now, Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton took pole for Mercedes at F1 season opening Australian Grand Prix on Saturday. But condemnation for the revamped qualifying was almost as quick as Britain's fastest lap. The new format based on progressive elimination during the three sessions rather than at the end of them was intended to instill more excitement, but instead proved to be a monumental flop rather than battle to the finish of its session, drivers posted early laps and then were content to return to their garages. The last few minutes of both the final sessions uh, pitted uh, out with no drivers on track, uh, sapping the entire process of suspense. Hamilton celebrated his 50th pole after posting a lap of 1 minute 25.351 seconds with second place teammate Nico uh, Rosberg nowhere near his time. Yeah. 